Tell my background to you first. Uh, previously, I was I graduated from Tulip University long ago. You can imagine from my head, okay? <laughs> 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 I just a little bit joke for you. Yeah. And then uh, certainly, initially, I work at hotel management training because I passed through examination and co make competition to to be there for five years. And so I went through from uh, what we call restoration, uh, reception, uh, room division. Uh, B F and B food and beverage, and then sales and banquet. Yeah, this is what I do in, uh, several years ago. Mm -hmm. Position is boarding get stuff just to detach boarding. the boarding pass mm -hmm. and make the vocal boarding control to make the head count mm -hmm. of the passengers, mm -hmm. and it is really important. Also, you know, if passenger is missing, what would happen? Announcement and. No yeah, you're right. The plane cannot leave because there is security concern. Mm, security uh, somebody might place the bomb on the plane mm. and then absent from the boarding gate. Right. And the pilot could not leave mm. the aircraft. So we have to start offloading all the luggage and then identify piece by piece. This is it was in the old day, but now if for example, Chitomi Sang is missing, we can identify Chitomi Sang. Uh, another. Uh, Nimosu uh, Arimaska, you understand what I'm saying? Kinda, I can guess. Nimosu <laughs> Arimaska, <laughs> so we can search Nimosu from the list. Mm. Uh, and we know where is the bag, and then we discharge the bag from the plane. Mm. They say for us, this is the new system start using. But this is for checked in baggage, right? Uh, check in the baggage, and it relates, yeah, check in baggage. But hand carry, certainly if you do not pass through the scanners, sec uh, uh, security immigration, mm. you would not be at the airplane. Mm. Low control is for my side is to make weight and balance of the airlines. Mm -hmm. We don't make nose heavy, we don't make tail heavy, mm -hmm. so we don't make uh, overweight of container and also we don't overweight of maximum takeoff, maximum landing of the aircraft or maximum <laughs> zero fuel. I'm not sure whether you know about zero fuel or not. No. Not really. uh, so yeah, certainly you, Thai Airways has this kind of curriculum to teach the novice or the newcomer or the new employees. So we can go and study from this uh, curriculum or syllabus. Uh, in order, everybody have to work from the manual, start from the normal paper. Mm -hmm. We start from the paper, use calculator. The calcula calculator in the old day, it was uh, used typewriter like this. Mm -hmm. It does not electronic like yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. have, uh, I, I thought you must have known the brand is FACIT, F-A-C-I-T, not FACIT, FACIT, F-A-C-I-T. I'm not sure. Yeah, because it need, uh, my, myself also, I used to see it now in the antiques, the yeah. antiques. Antique <laughs> 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 it become antique now, Chitomisa. So we start learning from make weight and balance mm -hmm. uh, of the aircraft. We get the cross weight from the cargo, cargo department. Mm -hmm. So really we have to know about dangerous goods. Mm -hmm. What is RFL? liquid flammable, mm -hmm. RNG, liquid non-flammable gas, for example, or ROX, uh, oxidation, or RXS, explosive, for example. So everybody who involved in this type of loading or load control, they must learn. It's mandatory to learn about this thing. Or uh, when you have dry eyes, oh uh, you cannot put animal near the dry eyes. You cannot put the dog near the dry eyes because when dry eyes vapor, mm -hmm. it releases CO2, <laughs> carbon dioxide, see? So this is the general knowledge that you have to learn about this. More than that, you have to learn about lock, locking position on the aircraft, or we call restraint latch. Uh, 
you have to restrain the container from move up, move down. They have four momentum, up, down, something like that. Yeah, gravity. Have, uh, yeah. Gravity, uh, drag, you don't know how to yeah, create yeah, a thrust. Yeah, yeah. Drag yeah. force, yeah. okay, drag force, thrust, drag thrust. thrust, okay. Gravity. Eleven, gravity. Eleven, gravity. Uh, lift, and then gravity. 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 Yeah. Four, four forces. Mm -hmm. So you have to know about this thing of restraint match mm -hmm. to keep the people or soul on board. Yes, soul on board, safe. Uh, more than that, the aircraft have to get airworthiness. Mm -hmm. If you don't have airworthiness, you don't have insurance certificate. You cannot fly in into any country because if you land on, if you fly on, for example, on Britain, on UK, the plane might drop into, on your house and your house damage and people die. Something like that. That's why they need certificate. Airworthiness, okay? This is load control. You have to know weight and balance, how do not exceed maximum take off landing or zero fuel weight. And you have to restrain the latch. And after that, they have irregularity about restraint. If a lock breaks down, how can you put the, put the container in? Mm -hmm. They have limitation. If one, con one latch, one restraint latch break down, you have to reduce the weight mm -hmm. so that it can accommodate those ULD, or the unit load device. On heard about this position what I, the first thing that came to my mind was uh, if you're in this position it seems like all you manage is basically bags making sure that they are in the right plane mm -hmm. or the weight and stuff so I was just wondering are there any times during you know, you know while we're, while you're working do you ever meet any customers like do you have to face them on your own for example, if their luggage is overweight and they don't want to pay, to, for example, mm. or they have, like the other day I saw a news where a lady tried to exceed, like she exceeded the the, the, the weight, yeah. over, overweight into the aircraft. Right. Normally the aircraft they allow, how many kilo? Seven. 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 Right. <laughs> right. So if, if a customer, if a passenger exceeds that and then ask for the manager, do you have to go and like deal with them on your own? Uh, yeah, normally we, we call all in one. All in one. All in one. So uh, mainly uh, as per the duty of responsibility, we do not need to deal with passengers. Mm -hmm. But if you need to progress in your career, mm -hmm. you have to learn another thing. They call above wing and beneath the wing, mm -hmm. not being beneath the wing. You already saw why. <laughs> uh, you have to learn a, a bird thing because m mainly the load control is about safety, loading, safety, aircraft, CG. CG, what does it stand for? Center of gravity. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, about load, loading, safety, CG, center of gravity. And then we have to deal with the pilot about mm. how much the fuel you will uplift today. Mm. Uh, how many times we call in tons. Mm time because uh, one time is around a thousand liter mm -hmm. so hundred ton mean one hundred thousand liter, liter for yeah. example yeah. so we deal we need to bring and we deal with they call dead load dead load mean anything in the cargo hole in the compartment we call or dead load baggage mm -hmm. cargo mail ULD unit load device they all call dead load we put in the belly of the plane Mm -hmm. So I use compartment, belly is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, if you need to get progress in, to get no, more knowledge about passenger side, mm -hmm. this is the first step. And certainly you have to study English. Because mm -hmm. the way you talk to the people, you, you, you speak, you don't speak Thai. You speak in English, the way that, that I, I express to you. Even between Thai people? Uh, no, the Thai people, if you were, uh -huh. you, if you were in Thailand, you speak. Thai. But if you were in the other country, certainly, even though in Japan, we mostly are because God, for example, mm -hmm. right? uh, we deal. Perhaps you want to change the seat. I come, you are coming together. Just be sang, you come together. You want to sit together. Can I change the seat, please? For example, uh, sometimes because you are as a low control, you become senior already. Mm -hmm. So you have to go up there and then deal with with the passengers. Mm. The way to deal with the passenger is you have to look at this what they call seat chart. Yeah, seat sitting chart. plan, seat mm -hmm. sitting map, or seating plan, sitting map, seat chart. Which one is available? 
or you probably have to go into the plane and ask volunteer from uh, the other passenger to, re to relocate right. so that you can accommodate those two people to be seat together. Mm -hmm. This is the way. That's why we need to deal in passenger in this way because you need uh, experience on how to deal above the wing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you become beneath the wing all the time. Mm -hmm. right. So when you can deal with pilot, yeah. you can deal with cabin crew. Okay. Cabin crew, there are three types of cabin crew. I am the flight manager, a person, and normal crew. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mainly, we deal with in flight manager, a yeah, person, yeah. and captain. Mm. We talk only to it because we don't have much time to right. to talk with the crew. When I was young, I always go to the economy class zone so that I can see beautiful <laughs> cabin. <laughs> 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 How about when you're loading like for example, check-in is around two hours before flight, right? In Suanapu. Uh, yeah, we go to the aircraft for about one hour before departure. So within one hour, you have to load all the bags? Yeah, we have to load all the bags. Mm -hmm. uh, the bag has been assembled. Oh, at they're the assembled. Assembled okay. in the container at the sorting area uh -huh. beneath the building. Uh -huh. Because in here, they have they call inline x-ray. Uh, inline mm -hmm. x-ray, they call CTX computer thermographic x-ray mm -hmm. they can scan to the, uh, the internal the internal of the baggage so that to see any export mainly they uh, they concentrate on explosive material mm -hmm. so that to uh, to keep the plane uh, to keep the plane safe so they use ctx computer thermographic x-ray to scan the uh, to scan the the baggage of the passenger so it is in line with the belt. So when you drop the bag, the bag will be conveyed through this. They have 13 X-ray machine. Mm -hmm. And then it, uh, the bag, they have sorting uh, sorting system. We uh, call BHS, package handling system. It will go around, circle like this, and then it helps you to drop the bag according to the program computer. Mm -hmm. Everything is barcode, and they use, they use barcode, they call 2D barcode and they will develop into RFID, mm -hmm. radio frequency identification letter. So they have another sorting staff who sort the bag but, and use the scanner to put the bag into the uh, design to, to the specific container for individual flight, we can say that. And then when the we reach the time around one hour before the departure time, they will use take the toll to the aircraft. And then we have the load plan on hand. Mm -hmm. We just load according to the plan. Mm. And we didn't know by itself, we just tell the driver operator to drive uh, the transporter to put on the high loader, they call it FMC. FMC is brand. Uh, there are a lot of abbreviation here. Yeah, uh, I think uh, so. You see, the, you, you know, CG, you know, Jargon, ULD, I think you bet, I bet you, you're really confused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so they will put on cargo pilot loader, or CPL, and lift to the plane. And Certainly, the use of system or automatic uh, use of joystick put in and then put it to the plane, and after that, lock the one mm -hmm. that's right. lock it. And before we lock, we have to make sure that we lock. You have you locked yet? Uh, no control has to go and see what are you locking. Mm -hmm. And then, if there is anything up there above him, he has to stop activities beneath the wing and go up there and see what's going on. Uh, maybe it's enough time for one person to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And earlier, do you think you said English is important when you go abroad, right? Yep. So I was just curious. Then, do, does Thai Airways hire only people who actually can speak English? Uh, uh, we have minimum requirement for this mm -hmm. position. Uh, test of English for communication TOEIC. TOEIC. Uh, I think 650. Mm -hmm. How about degree? Degree, mainly a bachelor degree. Yeah. Bachelor, bachelor any, and, 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 any, any any branch, any side. Mm. Yeah. Any branch. But because we have to train from one first step, we start from Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, yeah. and we call something like that. And we start from what is aircraft type. That's why I have uh, monocular to see what aircraft is coming. Uh. <laughs> uh, when you see the aircraft, you know what is aircraft type. Uh, how many wheels do they have? Something like that. 
what is number of the building, number one, number two, number three, and then we use this type of communication, the airline jargon, you can say that. Mm -hmm. So we have taught the test of English for the communication. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in terms of writing, certainly we have to write uh, yeah. what, what we call airline language. We use plenty of abbreviation, abbreviation, yeah, stand for. Mm -hmm. So, so we, ha we have to know, have the knowledge about this thing as a load control supervisor. Mm -hmm. uh, load, load, because we deal, we are, we call coordinator, turn around, mm -hmm. TRC. Mm -hmm. I, I have a, yeah. When you go to the aircraft, you have to wear reflexive jacket mm -hmm. uh, or something like this. Mm -hmm. Reflexive jacket, so that to identify, to, for your safety, they call PPE, personal protection equipment, PPE. Yeah. You told us that you have to co cooperate with pilot, with person. So it mean that you you have to stand by in every flight. Uh, we can yeah st every flight one hour before departure. Mm. So when we arrive at the aircraft, uh, we have to brief okay. uh, on, on on the tarmac. Uh -huh. You understand the tarmac, right? Uh -huh. uh, on the tarmac, you uh, we have to explain to. Uh, of our uh, call bricket operator, mm. our CPR cargo pilot operator, loaders, mm. drivers. That okay. Uh, what we are doing today? We have forward compartment for three pallets mm. and six containers. At the rear, we have four pallets and four containers. In the bulk hold of the aircraft, mm. we have uh, one uh, hundred kilogram, for example. Mm. So today we have live now for instance. If you put in cargo hold, mm. don't forget to switch on the lights all the time. Or to wipe the double bar the whole flight. And then we call cargo. Uh, we have cargo dog live dog in cargo hold. Can you give me notification to captain the paper, or we call no talk something like that. After we finish, and then we stop. It. Don't do anything. Yeah, I'll go up there to brief pilot and uh, person. We just see pilot say good morning, pilot. Good morning, captain. Today we have passenger six first class. Uh, 20 business class and 400 economy class. Mm -hmm. Our zero period today is, for example, 300 tons, uh, 300 tons. And our city is now in the middle. It's okay to learn anything. So the meal, we have special meal, blah, blah, so and so. And then uh, we have some deaf passenger, blind passenger. We have mm -hmm. dog in, in the cabin or we have the dog in the cargo. We just breathe into the lot of captain. And then you talk to the, after that, you have to talk to IA or in flight manager and Person that uh, today we have meal, but also so we have weekend meal, we have kosher meal, we have Muslim meal, for example. And then, how many meals do you have on the plane now? Tell me if you shortage, let me know. I call to catering to supply to you. Mm -hmm. the way, this is standard format. That's all. When you are working uh, in Heathrow Airport, is it difficult for you? And did you have a hard time to work in there? Uh, in terms of job at the uh, job. Load control passenger handling. Uh, I'm, I don't have a problem because uh, you know my professional. I work with that. The problem is that with the people, people from Thailand, there are so many VIPs, mm. uh, so <laughs> many my customer. I always receive the ring call at midnight. Uh, I never have any my privacy life, but, uh, because I'm the only central of the people. I'm, I was the only one from Bangkok at the time. Yeah. From my side, at the airport, myself or not. So my staff, the, the British Indian, they look like the Indian, but they are British. Uh, I had Thai staff also, the one who speak Thai, but they married to the British people, so they become British already. Uh, my private side, my privacy life is not existing there. But in terms of working at the airport, uh, load control, passenger handling, flight operation, access back, meaning ICT system set up, talk to the people, uh, convey the meeting. <laughs>
um, you know, it's automatic, automatically they have to push tray, uh, they all are in matching, we don't use the people to lift the bag. The last stage is to lift from the uh, carousel, yeah. the carousel, right? Yeah. Carousel, uh, delivering carousel, they put in the container, only that um, stage that we use the manpower. The rest, we don't use the manpower. Yeah. But as I, I reply to your uh, question, it reminds us that all this project probably some break, breakable items inside. Right. So uh, to remind. And again, people who work at Thai Airways are sorting and we just are sourcing companies. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't speak English. They, uh, if you go to London, you have to write in Thai by London, TG, something like that, so that to have better communication mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. NHR, London, so on. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to help you communicate with uh, the lawyers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because if people who graduate in much of the period of Thai people, they don't work like that. More than that, the atmosphere or environment for working is you work beneath the building, even though it, with air condition, but uh, you leave the package the whole day. And, and we Irish. have 63 million people per year, so in one hour, 7,000 package, so it's too much for them to work back. Tiring and boring. Uh, but heavy, heavy work. And have you ever made mistake on your duty? Uh, certainly. Uh, mistake but it's still in limit limitation mm -hmm. for example um, I used to send cargo send baggage to cargo terminal oh. uh, because of mm, my eyes or misreading for example passengers uh, there are 20 passengers have to wait for the baggage for an hour for instance mm -hmm. so I sent to cargo terminal and then cargo started okay. to bring them back to the terminal again uh, the most thing that happened to me is that Lauda Air, probably you have not been flown. Lauda Air, have you ever heard it crash in in Supanuri? 1991, probably. 1991. Uh, we, and after that, I know that we are living in an uncertain world because uh, when you start boarding, close everything. Because Bangkok, Vietnam is 12 hours flight time, so you cannot get anything on the plane, only baggage without any cargo because the plane uplift several. Ocean of fuels, you can say, ocean of fuel on the plane. So when you start going, you see captain, you see passengers, children, ladies, boys, girls on the plane. After that, another 15 minutes, all of them die because of the crashes in Japan. Everybody in 1991. Oh, it's a nightmare for me. I was interrogated continuously for several months. What did you put on the plane? Well, so and so. Anyway, after final investigation, it revealed that they have problem with the engine uh, uh, thrust reversal deploy. Mm -hmm.